Hi everyone, myself Rakesh and I welcome you back to my channel. In this video, we are going to learn casting, type casting. So what is this word casting? So you have seen in the metal industries, they pour the melted metal into a mold and this mold right after it cools down, it gives a specific form to the metal. So casting is a process of giving a specific form to something right. Generally it is used in the metal industries. Now in the python what is type casting? Let me tell you. Very simple with an example we will understand. If I say x is equal to 5 what happens? Python understands because you have written 5 the type of this x variable is integer type. If I say y is equal to 2.8 so because there is a decimal it is a float type. If I say z equals to in double code if I write 3 then python understand this is a string type. So how would I understand whether it's a string or not or how do I check it? Very simple within print type use the type function and within the double quote I am going to say x. So it is going to tell me what kind of a type it is. Is it an integer type or something else? Similar way let's do it. Let's copy paste and I am just going to change the variables y and I am going to change the variable to z. So let's control s f5 let's execute this. The moment you execute it gives you the proper data. The first one is an integer, the second one is a float type and the third one because you have written in double quotes it is a string type. This much understanding we have got so python automatically defines ok very simple point python automatically defines. But what if what if the 2.8 what you have written I want that I don't want that uh, you know after decimal let's say there are so many numbers after decimal and I don't want the decimal numbers I just want 2. So you have to give it a different form. So what is the current form? The current form is a float. I want to give it an integer form. So I have to cast it right. Casting means giving it a specific form. So for that I will write a equals to then what I will write I will use the int function to cast it. This is the function you will be using int and then within int if I say y right then what would happen if you say print within double quotes if I say a what will be printed 2 will be printed not the entire float number. So let's see that control s f5 what happened all the decimal has been removed and 2 is kept because you wanted to cast it or give it a form of integer. So it has done its job happy we are happy with that. Similar way there are a couple of other functions I am going to show you ok. Let us um, delete everything. Let us say there are three functions we should practice one is converting into integer you will be using the int function. If you want to convert something into float you will use the float function. If you want to convert something into string you can use the string function. These are known as the constructive functions or the constructor functions you can call it ok. What you can call as or casting functions whatever name you call doesn't matter but you should understand what is casting or constructor functions. So it, it constructs something right constructs constructor functions ok using this three you will be able to convert something. So it is not exactly string because it is coming in you have to say str ok str ok. So these are the three different constructor functions guys. Okay, so let's say I want to construct something to integer. I have given you the example float. Let's say I want to construct um, 3. Okay, 3 which is a string when I'm writing uh, this way. So I want to construct something into a float format. So let's do that print. Then print has to be closed in parenthesis. Done. So what would happen? This 3 which is a string will be automatically converted into float. So let's see that control S F5. So what happened the 3 which was it has now become 3.0. Similar way for string also you can do it string you want to convert something into string format let us say uh, 2 point something is there right this is this is what yeah, I have to remove the because if you put in double code it anyways becomes a string right. So here I want to convert the float number into string print and I want to convert that very simple you can practice all this very simple ones. Now if I do control s and uh, f5 what would happen 3.0 2.845. So what happened this has become this has now become a string if you want to see the type you can also do anyways we are converting this to string so this is a string type. 
okay so all this you can practice and very simple casting is nothing but you are giving something to a different form it is already in a different form and you are giving it a different form so you, there are a couple of rules okay you cannot um, let's say if you are writing um, Rakesh, this is a string. Can you convert this to float? No, no way. It has to be a number. Okay, very simple, common sense. So we can use a F5 and we can see there is an error because you can't convert Rakesh into a float. But you can convert some string with, which is written in double quote, right? Something like that into a float. It's already a float. So F5. Casting is nothing but we're using the constructor functions to do it. So thank you guys for watching it. We are going to meet again in the next video with something something new. Take care. Bye-bye.